Hello, I'm Anthony David Hobbs, and this is going to be my review of Clue, a movie that came out around about the year 1985. And, uh, well, I'll start right at the beginning. Um, my earliest memory of Cluedo is um, when I was about eight years old. In America, they call it Clue, but in Britain, we call it Cluedo. But it's pretty much the same game. It's called Cluedo because there was a popular board game called Ludo. Now, Ludo, not to be confused with Ludo in Labyrinth. No, that's a completely different Ludo. Anyway, um, uh, someone thought, well, the word Clue and Ludo, put those two together, and you've got Cluedo, yeah. And it's very like the style of an Agatha Christie murder mystery, yeah. And um, I remember, yeah, my mum and dad and my older sister playing the game, but it was too complicated for me to take in. I couldn't figure it out. I remember I liked playing with the little counters and, like, on the board, there's the, the study, the library, and the secret passageways and stuff. And sometimes I get some of my other toys with nothing to do with the game, but then played with them on that like that. So I got the gist of it. And I do remember a year later, there was a TV show called Cluedo. And in that, there'd be a actors and actresses playing all the various different characters. And you have to work out, I think, from what I've observed there, that you did it, and I think you did it like, like that. And it was a... Yeah, it was a show on primetime. It was a popular show. So clearly, Cluedo, very popular game indeed. Yeah, very well known. Then in 1990, I saw um, the uh, like the second half of the film. It was a, it was the Saturday evening uh, family film. You know, they had, they'd have one every week in the autumn when I was about 10. So I didn't know what it was. But then the characters' names, like uh, Reverend Green, Professor Plum... Colonel Mustard, Mrs. White, Miss Scarlet. Well, wait a minute. And all the different murder weapons. Yeah, I thought that this is Cluedo. Yeah, yeah, I worked it out. Yeah. And um, then afterwards, I, I, you know, I mean, I haven't actually played the game Cluedo properly, but I knew the gist of it. And I enjoyed it. And there was lots of funny gags here, there and everywhere. It's done in a comedic way. Yeah. I mean, murder is a terrible thing. But in this case, it's, it's played for laughs. It's like a comedic version of Miss Marple or Murder, She Wrote. And um, well, there were jokes like, well, with Tim Curry, when Colonel Mustard says, are you trying to make me look stupid? You don't need my help to do that. That's right. And another bit with Tim Curry, who plays the butler. Again, he, it's very convoluted. Yeah, he says like, um, well, let's go through all the steps, everything that's happened so far. You were in the, the library then, while the other person was in the kitchen who went through the secret passage into the study, who then went up to the attic and then came down here and was at the, 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 the doorbell. But then afterwards, we couldn't hear that because we were in the billiard room. And then after that, three more people came into the kitchen. Yeah. But there's just one thing that confuses me. Only one? <laughs> yes, it's so confusing. It's so complicated. In order to work out who the murderer is, you have to cover every corner work on every little tiny detail. It's very complicated, yeah. Well, speaking of complicated, the movie reminds me a bit of Back to the Future 2. I mean, it's a completely different story, but no, it reminds me of that because, yes, it's so complicated. Back to the Future 2, it's very convoluted and all these extra twists that are added in here, there and everywhere, yeah. Uh, the other reason it reminds me of that is because Christopher Lloyd, the actor who was in Back to the Future... And the other and the sequels, he plays Professor Plum in Clue, yeah. And um, Tim Curry, yes, I was familiar with him in um, the movie Legend, but I didn't know what he looked like because he had so much makeup on. But I saw what he looked like in this, yeah. And I remember when I first saw, well, when I first saw the second half, when I was ten, on the school bus a couple of days later, because then it was Monday. Um, everyone was talking about this fantastic new film called Clue and. And when I heard them going on, I said, oh, Cluedo, yeah, you mean Cluedo the movie? And they said, no, it's just called Clue, duh. I was like, well, I didn't know that because I'd missed the beginning, you know, <laughs> yeah. But I do, rem oh, wait, I do remember the Clue cards at the end when it says all the names of the different characters, yeah. And, um, yes, there's lots of laughs here and there and everywhere. They know there's definitely a killer among them because Mr. Body has been killed. I don't think Mr. Body is a character in the game, but it's, it's a play on words, and they're all using pseudo names yeah oh yes and they're all being blackmailed you know because stuff they've done that's illegal not necessarily illegal but immoral and would ruin their reputations and they all open their their presents and there's all the murder weapons the noose the gun the dagger um the candlestick uh, the lead pipe and the wrench 
And because their fingerprints are on all over them, oh God, no, now they're all pinpointed. Any one of them could be the murderer. And they don't know who the murderer is. And then um, a man who's, whose car's broken down, he rings the bell and asks if he can come in. They do let him in and then quickly lock him in a room because they, they can't, well, for his own safety. If the killer is still at large, he might kill him, yeah. Oh yeah, the man whose car's broken down, he looked vaguely familiar. Is it the dude that was in Jaws and Jaws 2? He didn't play the sheriff. No, he played the deputy, Deputy Hendricks. Is that right? Is that the same actor? Well, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, the point is... Um, oh, and then after that, uh, a policeman comes in. Oh, well, and they have to lock him in the library. They go, <laughs> yeah, cause they de they, he, because one of them is the killer. The policeman might arrest the wrong one, you know. Or he might arrest all of them. So they, they, they for their own safety, they lock him in there. Because there's only one killer among them. Well, let's get this exactly right. And then there's a bit when they all go in pairs. That way, um, if the killer, if one of them dies, that means they'll definitely know who the killer is. A bit rough luck on the next victim, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And there's lots of gags here and there. Well, some comedy writers were involved in the writing of the script and everything. Oh, yes. And when I first saw the film from the second half, I didn't know it was set in the past. It's set in the 50s, but I didn't know that. Because, um, well, none of them are wearing trendy clothes, yeah. They're wearing very smart suits, very formal dress, yeah. So you can't tell what time period you're in from very formal, smart suits. You can tell what time period, if it's very informal dress, like very pop, poppy of current clothes, yeah. Very trendy, cool, informal wear. You can tell what time period it is, but you can't if you're just wearing smart suits, yeah. But I have since seen it from the start, and yes, it specifies 1954. Oh, because the game started getting really popular in the 50s, that's why. So it's a little nod to that, yeah, done by Waddington's, yeah. Oh, yes, and the butler's called Waddingham, or something similar to that, a little pun on Waddington's games, yeah. And um, I've only played Cluedo a couple of times, about a year ago. I don't remember a butler or a maid being in it, or a cook. So is that accurate to the game, or are there different versions of the game? I'm not 100% sure, yeah. But either way, we, we see, um, yeah, uh, maybe that's just like that in this one because it's their own version of the game, yeah. And um, it wasn't a huge hit. I can't think why. Well, you'd think it would be because of the popularity of the game, yeah. In fact, as far as I know, there's only been two films based on board games. There's the Dungeons & Dragons movie that came out around about the year 2000, and Clue came out around 1985. And because they weren't epic blockbusters, I guess that's why. That's why, the, the, you know, Hollywood is not keen to do another movie based on a board game because it doesn't make as much money as they'd hope. Well, I think Clue is very good. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the game, but it is a very enjoyable film. Yeah, lots of laughs here and there. And it leaves you guessing to the end. OK, big spoiler alert here. Um, the ending, we, find, we finally find out who the killer is. And then the credits come up and say, that's what could have happened, but how about this? And we see an alternate ending, okay, and then there's, um, it's Miss Peacock who, who, who did the killing, or is it Mrs. Peacock? Yeah, Mrs. Peacock. And then um, we see the third one, then the credits say, and here's what really happened, okay. And the butler, oh, in spite of all possible suspects, the butler did it, <laughs> okay. Well, technically, not just him, there are several others there as well, yeah. So, all these three different endings, we finally find out how it all ends. On a serious note here, I think the movie is saying, you can't tell who the murderer is. Well, it doesn't have to be murder, it could be any crime. Unless you physically saw the criminal commit the crime, you can't tell who it is from these clues. Because the first ending is, it's Miss Scarlet, but all those same clues can pinpoint Mrs Peacock. And all those same clues could pinpoint the butler as well. And they all had a motive to commit murder and everything. So, yes, it's saying that the game Cluedo is nonsense. You can't possibly tell. You can't possibly know from those clues. Because they can pinpoint every one of those people. So that the game is nonsense. You can't find the true killer at all. But apparently I was told, you know, when I, when I said, isn't that true with the game Cluedo? I was told, no, that's wrong. In Cluedo, there is only one possible murderer, and that's it. The clues can't possibly pinpoint anyone else. They can only pinpoint one possible killer. Now, maybe that's true with the, with the game, but that is not true of the film. According to the film, it could be any one of them, or it could be more than one. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I'll end this by saying, um, what is the link between Wayne's World and the movie Clue? Well, two links. Colleen Camp, the actress, is in both movies, and both movies have three alternate endings. That, that's the connection there. Okay, um, you don't have to have played the game Clue to get the, the, the film, but it would help. It would help you understand a lot of the gags better. So, to cut a long story short, it's, it's a lot of fun. If you like murder mysteries and comedy, put those two ideas together, it is a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, it makes the game cooler. Yeah, I enjoy the movie Clue a lot. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm Anthony Hobbs, and I'm never bored. Oh, good pun there, bored, bored game. But, anyway, I'm never bored.